Right now, I'm going to show you an incredibly easy and amazing way to get rid of artifacts and photos inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I've got a really quick tutorial for you, but I think this one's going to be a bit of a lifesaver. You know when you get those images and they get over compressed or you make some moves inside of the HSL and you start to get those grainy artifacts and I stumbled across a really effective way to get rid of them. Let's have a look. All right, so here's a JPEG photo that has some compression artifacts. If you look around the edge of the car here, you can see it's a little bit crunchy. Now you can see it up here on the mirror. Usually you'll see it in area up here, flat areas, areas of gradient, you're gonna to start to see these. Now these happen from over compression, whether you upload them to the web or, you know, uh, different things like that. And also some filters can cause them. So let's have a look here. We're gonna go under filter and then we're gonna to go to the camera raw filter. Now before I get rid of these artifacts, I'm going to go into a slider that makes them much worse. So if you've ever found that when you work in HSL, and this is actually how I discovered this whole technique, if you move them too far, like you're okay moving it about that much, but once you go past there, notice what happens. Uh, let me just show you. I'm going to go in here and see how we're starting to get these artifacts in this area. It'll show up even more when I go into the luminance. Watch this. In the oranges here and in the yellows. See how it's starting to get just really crunchy and we're losing a lot of definition. You see these little blocks are appearing. In fact, why don't I push it even more so we can really see the blocks. And that's what's happening. Now, the reason this happens, by the way, is when you're working with a JPEG, what a JPEG does is it reduces the file size by throwing away colors or areas that are duplicated. So what can happen, though, is if it throws away too many, when you go to edit that image, where there's a gradient, then that gradient is going to break down. You're going to see this banding and sometimes it can be manifest as these little blocks. In fact, let's see if I can make it show even more. I'm going to go in here into the reds. Let's go into the oranges and the, here we go. All right, you can really see the artifacts in this area. Look at that right there. Really, really bad. You can see it there. And of course, on the vehicle they're there as well. But I wanted these areas it would be super obvious. All right. So check this out. We're going to go up to the detail slider and then under detail, you're going to see three options, sharpen noise and color noise. This is where the secret is, is the color noise reduction. Let's pop this open and then watch what happens as I increase the color noise. See the blockiness there just disappears. Look at that. There's all the blocks. Pull it up, smoothens it out. And look at the vehicle. Everywhere else, it's looking a lot better. Most of the time, you're not going to have to make any changes, though, to the detail of the smooth. Let's just change the color noise reduction right here. And the nice thing about it working on the color noise is it's not softening our image. If we were to use regular noise reduction, let me just show you. I'm going to take the color noise reduction all the way down. There's those blocks again. If we use regular, see what it does? It doesn't fix the color blocks. All it does is it just softens the image. So I noticed that these artifacts tend to happen just in the color channels. So just by going in there, color noise reduction, I know it's so simple, click OK. So the thing to bear in mind, of course, is, you know, some images, if they're too heavily artifact, this is not going to be able to clean them all up, but it's certainly going to make them better. But a lot of images, they can take them from being a throwaway image to an image that you can actually use. So anyway, drop a comment underneath and let me know if this was useful to you. And by the way, if it was, also hit that like button. That's the thumbs up. So what would you like to learn in these Photoshop tutorials? Drop some suggestions into the comments underneath. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. It's great to have you. Consider hitting that subscribe button right now and turn on all the notifications so you'll get new tutorials from me whenever I upload. And currently I'm uploading three times a week. Every Tuesday we're doing our regular tutorial. Every Thursday we're doing our live stream at 1 o'clock. That's 1 p.m. Pacific time. And you don't want to miss this week. So I've got some really cool things uh, lined up for you. And also on the weekend, I do a back to basics. So that's three times a week I'm uploading new tutorials here at Photoshop Cafe. So anyway, guys, if you like it, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.